Welcome to the ninth episode of Drunk Power Scaling, the show where I hungoverly power scale my favourite characters. Today, we're looking at a franchise I haven't looked at in a good few years, Ben 10. More specifically, the most iconic villain to come from the franchise, Velgax. So, let's break down the Conqueror of 10 Worlds. At last we meet the being that has caused me so much trouble. Beyond the stars, upon the planet of Velgaxia, yes, really, lived an ambitious soldier named... Vilgax. Wow, Cartoon Network writer, you clever man. Vilgax was banished for his disobedience. Alone, he would come across a little planet named Earth, and during his time here, he spotted something. Something strange. A shapeshifter. One who could transform into any alien they wanted. So, being the ambitious soldier that he was, Vilgax set out on a quest to find a device that would grant him such an ability. Centuries later, Vilgax found the Omnitrix, and wished to use its power to boost himself and his army up to unimaginable strength. But of course, the ship carrying it crashed into him, the Omnitrix flying back into Earth. Weird coincidence? The Omnitrix would come into possession of Ben Tennyson. This collision injured Vilgax so much he placed himself within a healing tank, sending his forces to retrieve it. But of course, they failed. So Vilgax would create a cybernetic body and do it himself. And man was he relentless. He even attempted to cut Ben's arm off. Thankfully, Ben was good. So good, in fact, he trapped Vilgax within another dimension. But even in defeat, nothing will stop this intergalactic warlord from his ultimate quest to rule everything. Man, I feel like I've talked about this guy before. Probably just me. First a Chrono Sapien, and now a Kinesilaran. <laughs> an unexpected turn of events. Thankfully, Vilgax doesn't have the widest variety of abilities to cover. He has superhuman strength and durability, he can breathe underwater, has a healing factor, although this can take months, so sorry if you got your hopes up. He's a master of weapons, with the strongest in Omniverse being a royalty-free lightsaber. From a distance, he can zone you out with red energy blasts and optical beams, he can use super breath, fly, has enhanced sensors, use energy shields, he even has paradox resistance, being unaffected by his timeline being erased. And when he really needs to, his true form, greatly increasing his strength and allowing him to devour anybody in his way. This does come with a price. If he can't end the fight and does get overpowered, he won't be able to turn back and requires water to survive. In other words, he's gonna die. I was iffy on including this, but he also has the malware armor. Although only used once, it still was with him when he was defeated for the last time. So I'll be including it. But it does skyrocket at all of Vilgax's stats and abilities. It also grants Vilgax the ability to assimilate and absorb any tech he comes across, allowing him to enhance his weapons. He can use a laser sword, a jetpack, and a tachyon cannon that can destroy organisms down to the subcellular level. So let's discuss just how powerful Vilgax really is. You can't win. Turn over the Omnitrix and maybe I'll let you live. The overpowered humongousaur who lifted the Washington Monument. He destroyed one of the heads of Mount Rushmore, and he can destroy missiles. He can throw heat blasts through buildings, shattered chroma stone with ease, create craters with a single punch, he can sort a spaceship in half, and he broke Diamond Head's crystals. This scaling is important as Diamond Head can survive being punched to the moon without his crystals being damaged. The rest of these feats are with the Malgax armor. He punched Diamond Head to Galvin B. He can cut through Diamond Head's body and constructs. He even beat Atomics, Ben's second strongest alien, who made a mini sun. This means the armor scales to every alien below Atomics, like way big, who overpowered a ray that had the power to destroy Pluto. So, without the Malgax armor, we can place Vilgax at least large mountain level. And with the armor, we can place him at large planet level. But you could argue he could scale to way big without, since he has matched him in combat. So it's up to you. Let's move on to speed. Joke while you can. Now you face the true form of Vilgax. He can tag XLR8, who moved so fast that time looked frozen. He outpaced Humongousaur. He's blocked ultraviolet light rays before. He can keep up with Jet Ray, who can move into hyperspace with his speed. And he once flew from Earth to Petropia in a short time frame, which is at the edge of the galaxy. And with the armor, he gets guaranteed way big scaling, who, as mentioned earlier, overpowered the Pluto busting ray, which also can be counted as speed feats. So, yeah, massively faster than light for speed in base. And the armor should scale to base, so no debate. Hopefully durability will give us a bit more of a challenge. I have it, Master. The Omnitrix. This entire world 
belongs to you. He survived an exploding building, heat blast fire, XLR8 ramming into him at top speeds, being thrown into space and surviving its vacuum, he got strapped to a nuke and launched into his own spaceship, Diamond Head's crystal broke against his body, I remember, large mountain level durability, he survived the destruction of the Chimerian hammer, which destroyed everything for a hundred miles, he tanked a planetoid sized explosion, so in base he's island level to potentially small country level plus, not bad. But let's discuss Malgax, the armor scales to malware, who Vilgax used to make the armor. This is important as malware survived the planet destroying cosmic ray from way big, and malware survived the moon exploding on him, so big gap if he used the Malgax armor, no calcs required planet level for durability. There's a bunch of solar system and beyond level feats that could be mentioned, but I couldn't justify the scaling without giving Vilgax forms he can't do on his own, like Lucabra Vilgax. Sorry. Maybe I can do a video individually on that form if people are interested, but this video primarily focused on Vilgax, as if you were using him in a versus debate. My favourite option for him is of course Megatron, but I don't mind Ridley as an option. If you're hoping I'll eventually cover Ben himself one day, no. I'm not going into Alien X scaling. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, and as always, be excellent to each other. I warned you to hand over the Omnitrix. Now I'm going to beat you senseless and take it from you. You've been trying to get this for years, Vilgax. Each time, epic fail. This time will be different.